Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! Let's head on over to Parthenia to get some of that fever few root, or whatever that thing is called. But let's make a pit stop over here first. How's it going? Ah, oh, there we go. Thanks for the directions. We can't use those teleporters there, but if you walk around to the back side of the area... This is even in the NES version, too. You can find a hidden treasure! The Mini Metal, number 9, in the DS version of the game. So, it's in the same location there in the NES version, too. I like that. But anyway, let's head on southeast to Parthenia, then. Nice to see the enemies taking it easy on me. Holy crap, Metal Scorpions! Oh, wait, they're not nearly as hard as they were in the first game. But anyway, against these guys, uh, let's see. They are susceptible to snooze. So, I want to use... Yeah, you can use any elemental spell you want on them. Anything will work. They're pretty susceptible to the elements. Let's try that new Crackle spell that we had before you that I never showed off in Chapter 2 there. Yeah, I figure since we're going to rest at the end, why bother using Snooze to conserve MP? Well, actually, that would cost a little more, but... You know what I mean. All right. Hey, hey, we learned Sizzle. All right, that's basically the second level Sizz spell. It just deals more damage, that's all. Yeah, look at those levels for Turn Echo. Even though he's not in the party, he still gains levels. You can also switch your reserve party members that are in the wagon into your active party during battle. It's amazing. They never did that back then. I mean, this is on the NES, you could do that. But, you know, so I really like how they did that. Oh, it doesn't seem like they're doing too well again around here. Where's the castle? I saw it on the world map. Which way did she go, George? Which way did she go? You're not going to tell us where she went, are you? Uh, yeah, I do want to rest up here. Get that MP back that I lost. This isn't going to be a long trip, but, uh, well, we'll see what we can do. Hey, how's it Oh, not going very much at all, is it? That's your palace? A little straw hut? The Emperor has been expecting me. Oh, man. That's... Darn. Oh, no. Well, nothing we can do for Crystal or Kirill now. I'm still in NES mode. I gotta switch to NDS mode. Let's see what they sell here at the item shop. Oh, man. No one knew about it until now? Oh, um, eh, screw it. Whatever. Hey, hey, all right, a seed of magic. We're going to be putting those seeds to use soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Hmm, I don't think we ever hear anything about that, but nice to hear about your family. Emperor Claudius, huh? Presentius, is that supposed to be... A pun or a reference or something? I'm seeing puns everywhere now. Well, anyway, so we gotta go to the Parthenium Pantry or whatever it is. It's a cave to get the fever fuse seed. So let's head on over there then. I don't think that that guy's an emperor. If I were working in the fe plowing the fields, saying I was an emperor, well, they'd put me away. Oh, hey, it's those guys from uh, Casablanca. How'd they get over here? Uh, Elena, can you rejoin us now? You have the... Didn't you have the Thief's Key with you? From Chapter 2? Game? Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why they take the Thief's Key from you to keep you from sequence breaking here. You come here before without Borea... And, yeah, you can't get in because you don't have the Thief's Key. So, now, new to this dungeon, we got these little movement tile things, whatever. You step on them, and they automatically move you in the direction of the arrow. 
and as long as you're on one of those tiles, you won't get into any random battles. Once you get off of them, you will get into random battles. So, okay, we got a new enemy, Wizard. Mr. Wizard? Eh, pretty much. But anyway, uh, we keep... They're pretty much immune to all my crowd control spells, like snoots. So, let's see, I want to use... Let's see, they're susceptible to frizz and crack, like the wizards are. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ow! Yeah, none of my spells are working on them. Well, at least I got Crackle to work. Crackle deals really good damage. It, there's no split damage in the uh, Dragon Quest game. So you hit a group, whether it's two or three enemies, doesn't matter. It hits each individual enemy for the same amount. Well, why didn't you take Boria with you? Well, it's a race to the finish line, then. We'll see you there. Uh, hey, get back here. Get back here. There we go. Kind of looks like uh, Blue Ragnar. Uh, I think real men wear pink in this game. <laughs> well, let's get up to the northwest first and fight Powie Yowie. Uh, these guys are susceptible to snooze, so we want to use that. And let's see, pretty much anything else will work on them except Crackle. But I really don't have anything else to use against them, so that's what you fun. Or, you know, I could have had Mina use uh, Whoosh and Boria use Snooze. That could have worked, too. Think about that. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty much immune to all that stuff, so let's... Yeah, let's just go all out. And sometimes Poison Needle will get them. Eventually, I will use or get a Poison Needle for Boria, but, well, I don't want to spend the money on it right now. So, soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Not exactly a high priority. Even if I liked Torneko in this game, I still wouldn't bring him into the dungeon. Because I want all my wizards to gain levels to learn their spells, which are more important. But yeah, like with, uh... Ah, here's a new enemy. Vampire Batlers. Uh, they are susceptible to Slee! Or, well, Snooze. So, let's put that to use then. Any elemental spell will do against them. Now, since you have reserve characters now, like Torneko, once you get above four characters, when you're on the world map, your reserve characters will still gain experience. But when you enter into some dungeons, like this one, they won't. So, bring in the characters you want to gain experience. And here we get a Robe of Serenity. Probably want to give that to Boria, because his defense is pretty lacking right now. Doesn't have a spangled dress or anything. And let's take a look at other properties it has. It can uh, protect you from sleep and paralysis, so that's pretty nice. And just one of these guys. With uh, certain... There are some dungeons, though... Uh, like I was saying, with the reserve characters, that you can actually bring your wagon into, and you can still get experience for those reserve characters. Or, and there's also some dungeons where you can't bring the wagon, but your reserve characters will still gain experience anyway. So it varies from dungeon to dungeon. I like how they mix it up like that. Like some dungeons, I want to have Maya as my mage because there's more enemies susceptible to her fire spells. Or other dungeons where I may want to bring in Boria because some those enemies are weak to ice. See, we want to go this way. Yeah. And I'll switch characters from battle to battle depending on the situation. So I really like how they balanced out the characters in this game, except for Torneko. But let's see here. I'm trying to figure out which one to go with. Left one, I think. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. But yeah, pretty much every character, besides Torneko, is really useful here. So, but here we got a Kennebox. Now this guy will kill you if you're not careful. So, let's just go all out there. Fortunately, Maya did not get affected by that. Just use Sap on him. And I think we should be fine. Uh, he can use... Well, obviously that fear attack. You can also use Sweet Breath on your party there. He's pretty much susceptible to any element, really. So just use your most powerful ones. Yeah. I just moved too quickly there. He has, as you can see, a really powerful physical attack. 
so you want to be careful with those guys and watch out for their cousins later on, too. Heal up after that. There we go. Now let's see. We want to get to the middle there. Yes! Okay, that worked. We made it. And in this chest, we get the Fever Fuse Seed. Now I know what you're thinking, viewers. It's she Bailey. We gotta get that back to Christo Kirill as soon as possible. But no, you do not want to go back there yet. Remember, you gotta plant the seed first. So you gotta go back to Parthenia. Yeah. Yeah, that screwed me up the first time I played the game. You get the fever few seed, you go back to Kirill, and it's like, why wasn't this thing working? Well, you gotta go back here to plant it. So. Oh, how about a few seconds? Would that do? Hey, hey, all right, unrealistically fast-growing plants. I would look at that in disbelief too, but we're trying to save my friend here, so. And yeah, I know, I said in the last episode we gotta save Elena, which, well, technically that's true. We had to save her from her own ego, from getting herself into trouble. She can't take on those monsters by herself, but... Game? Let's try that one again. Okay. Let's give the Fever Few seed, root, whatever it is, to Kiro there. And was that uh, Hank back downstairs? Well, let's check it out when we're done. Ah, the root. Okay, there we go. How's it going? Yay for unrealistically fast uh, plague cures. Or whatever he had. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of the prince getting uh, cursed in Dragon Warrior 2. The Game Boy Color version. Why are you guys after him? I mean, he was at the tournament, but you still want your match? What, you can read my mind? That sounds like a plan. More party members! Yay! How'd you guys know I wanted to join you want we wanted you to join our party? You asked with your eyes, Solo. You asked with your eyes. Yay! He just hops right back on his two feet. Alright, let's going on? Okay, how's it going? Yeah, we're here to save the world. No one believes me, though. Oh, Ragnar, the last one. Huh. Oh, okay, so that's where he's going to. Oh, we'll check that out. Okay, how's it going, Hank? No one can stop me now. Somebody stop me! But, okay, so we've gotten most of our party members at this point. So, now I think it's a good time to put most of those seeds to use. I'd recommend giving the strength seeds to Elena, the life seeds to whoever has the least HP, the magic seeds. I'd usually give them to Solo, but Mina and Kirill might be low on them too. Maybe give the uh, wisdom seed to Kirill... And the rest of the seeds I'm going to save for later. But should we go after Ragnar first? Or should we go exploring? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest 4! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!